connected our Airtable data to Softer, let's set up our sign in and sign up pages to test out our user flow and make sure everything works as expected. We previously created our sign in page, but we still need to add our actual sign in block. We'll go to add a block and user accounts, and we'll add the sign in form. We can remove the logo for now and just request the email and password for our user to sign in. And then on click, we want the page after sign in to be the library page instead of the home page. And I'll just get rid of this extra space after I forgot password. And for this page, we don't want to show the sign up as an added button at the bottom. We have a separate page for that, so we'll keep it off of this page for now. And we can keep our header the same as the home page for this page. Let's update our sign up page. Again, we can keep the header the same for our sign up page. And this time for our block user accounts, we're going to use the sign up form. And again, we'll just remove this logo for now. If you have a logo, you can place it in there and change that image but we don't have a Fitbooks logo for now. So we will remove that and keep our sign up title and our full name, email and password is all that we'll need. If you do have a Google developer account, you can have users sign up with Google, which can be really convenient. Otherwise we can leave this toggled off and just use the name, email and password for our users as they sign up. We can show our terms and privacy policy or terms and conditions. And we will keep this toggled on because it's great to have that checkbox. But for now, our action will just leave blank because we don't have these pages built out for the purposes of this walkthrough. But it's great that you can easily add those in and add those pages in and connect them here so that when your user hovers over these parts of the sentence, terms and privacy policy, then they can be redirected to those pages when the action is completed. And on click the page after sign up, we want to be the library page. And for our sign in here, we can open the sign in page. So we'll leave that sign in option available on this page. And that's it. We've completed our sign up form and everything looks like it's ready to go. Great, all of our pages are set up now. Let's make sure that everything is connected correctly. So we can go back to our home page. And in the header, now we can update these actions for these links. So we have our home page and we can update each of these to link to the pages that we now have built out. Great, so that's all updated. Next in our call to action block, our get started for free, that needs to link to our sign up page. Awesome. Now we just need to create a test user to test everything out. So we will click on data and we're going to toggle on view test data here and we can add our user. And it's added in our email and password there to have our test user. Test users will not work on your published site, but they will work here in Softer Studio in the preview mode. So let's click preview here. We can see now that we're previewing our site. We have all of our blocks from our homepage. We can view in laptop or tablet or mobile here and adjust that view as needed to see what that looks like. Everything looks like it's working responsively. So if we go back to tablet, now let's take a look at our links to make sure that everything is opening up 
as it should. So if we click home, that will take us back here. If we click library, we should get an unauthorized page because we're not logged in. So that looks like it's working. And we can click sign in here. We are directed to our sign in page. And if we go back home, let's click our get started for free and we are directed to our sign up page. So it looks like all of our links are working as expected. And now we can sign in. Great, so now that we're signed in, we can see our library. It has our collection of books from our Airtable and we can filter each collection really easily by just clicking into these filters at the top. We can just click that filter again to remove it. And one thing that we need to do to be able to filter by our search bar here is we need to go back into our library page and into our list block. And our search bar, we do have show search bar, and we just need to be able to select those fields that we can search by. So we wanna be able to search by book title and any of our authors, if any of those authors are mentioned in search, as well as any of the collections. Great, so now we've updated our search bar. Let's go back to our preview. And now we can filter by collection still, but we can also filter in our search bar. Great, so we have our functional training for sports, that's in the title. Never Let Go is in the strength and functional training collection, as well as the science and practice of strength training. We could also search for just an author name and see that our filters and search bar are working as expected. Now we can even navigate back to the home page and see if we remain logged in back to the library and we are still logged in. Great, so everything looks like it's working as expected. Now we can sign out of our account and if we try to go back into the library, we're met with that unauthorized page. So now we can exit out of preview mode and we can publish our app to a softer subdomain, which we already edited in the settings when we started, but you could also edit it here if you haven't done that yet. And we'll click publish. We could also publish to a custom domain and that is available on the starter plan with software, which is great. So let's click into our published site. It's gonna open in a new tab. Great, so this is our actual app here. And let's create a new user in our live published site. Awesome, and we can see that on sign up, we're taken directly to the library. Everything is there. It looks like everything is working as expected and we can really click our get book link and it's gonna open up, which is great. So everything is working as expected on our published site as well as our preview site. And if we go back into Softer, into the Softer Studio, and now take a look at our data tab, we can see that if we toggle off the view test data, that now we have our test user that we just signed up a couple of minutes ago right here in the live environment. One thing to remember though, is that this user, our test user, is not available in our test data. And that's actually quite helpful for differentiating between test users and real users. So you can always work with your test user data separate in your preview environment, and it won't affect your live users in any way. Congrats, now you know how to build a directory site using software. We can't wait to see what you build next.